right good morning guys well have you ever had one of them jobs that just kind of it's kind of a crappy job you know i'm sure everybody that that uh digs in the dirt and has equipment has had one of those jobs just a crappy job you know um well this kind of brings a new meaning to it here today so Yeah, you got it. I'm working at a couple of turd ponds, or better known as a wastewater treatment facility for a small town in our area. Um, the purpose of me being here today is I've been hauling this rock in and if you'll remember, uh, it's a couple years ago, I brought a bunch of rock in and lined this dam here and extended this dam out because it was eroding away and, it's, and the main dam section was getting really narrow. And they were having a difficult time even getting vehicles down through there. So I brought in the same type of rock from a stockpile that I have, widened it out, and they wanna go ahead and line the rest of this pond here. They want to line it with rock too to kind of keep it from eroding out and they have a really bad problem with muskrats and the muskrats will get and they'll bore into the dam and create their dens and hence causes more erosion so anyway the goal for this project is, is i'm going to take and do just like i did there or do just like i did on the pond that i just cleaned out and just came from same principle we're just going to go in here and line this up to about up to about the taller grass level here and down to about probably down to with about in about a foot of the water that'll kind of match that because that water this water level fluctuates up and down it's really down right now so i'm going to bring it up to so like I said, you know, down into here and uh, all the way around and then up to the tall grass. So I think I've got, what, five loads in here now. I'm gonna spread it, see how far that gets us. And then uh, we'll, uh, we'll keep going. Today's Friday, it'll probably be the first week before I get back out here. But anyway, we'll get keep a hauling and keep it chugging along on this we got to go this side that side and that end so we got uh we got lots and lots and lots of rock to haul and lay out so anyway here we go
this rock, which is just to this corner, which is just to that corner there, and then just to around over here. This rock here is the tuba tin, is what we call it. It's what I use to do, to put around that dam on that pond. that I used that I hauled in here there was seven loads I hauled in here it's consistently bigger and there's even some big chunks in there like that most of them are flat though um, but they're consistently bigger about that big which is the way that the old tuba tan used to be it was consistently that size that I hauled in you know that rock came off of a, a bridge project and was stockpiled and uh, it done the project that I've been working on today and it also done it done a huge part of this entire lane. Now, it wasn't done all of that but that dam, that drive between the two ponds was getting so narrow that my dump truck was basically at each side. That's how bad it eroded. So I actually extended that out, widened that by about three foot. So that rock and then what I've been bringing in all came from that bridge project.
start raising hell about it. But they'd already, they had already crushed a bunch. So, I'd say this is probably some of that still. Like you said, you can't put this in a spillway. And I used to always use this in a spillway. Can't anymore. It's too small and washes out. So. And they don't. They don't consistently carry the shot rock. So you've got to kind of special order it. Because what they'll do is they'll, when they blast, they'll take and they'll stockpile rocks this big. Uh, especially if you kind of do a special order with it. But once it's gone, you have to wait until next time. And so it's a pain in the butt. But this here, you can't use this in the spillway. It's too small. Wash right out.
clean this up because it kind of made it a mess.
think that's going to be all right. Alrighty guys, well, unless the city tells me differently, I'm done. Again, two years ago I believe it was, I laid this exact same rock all down that, that dam in between the two ponds. Um, you could barely drive my dump truck down through there that you weren't wanting to fall off that's how bad it was eroded so i brought that out about three foot to this pond and it's held in great the same rock and again this rock i had stockpiled it was from a uh, bridge construction uh that they scraped the rock back up and just piled it um it's got dirt mixed in with it but it's actually really it's actually uniformly better than the quarry rock I brought in because it's big, it's bigger, it's uniformly bigger. Um, I tried just to maintain because the water level is way down because we haven't received any rain for several weeks, and so the water level is down. As you can see, it's the same level. You can see that's down probably two foot at least from the last time I put rock in probably close to three foot because I was actually down in the water a little bit so anyway that's why this I mean as you can see there's dirt mixed in with the rock the rock is there it's just covered up by dirt you get a good hard rain it'll it'll wash all that dirt off and and be fine but but anyway and this goes and turns so I tried to just kind of maintain that same level all the way around until I got down there. It really started eroding further down. See, this isn't eroded. It was eroded further up here, but down there, it was eroded further down. It was eroded further uh, up too, but especially close to the water. So that's why I started dropping the rock down as I went around that way because of the difference in in where the erosion was at so once this gets back up to normal levels you know it'll be uniform all the way around uh so i wasn't real concerned about keeping it pretty down that way as much as i was up here so that's why i try to straighten this up and try to keep this relatively straight up here i mean it's not perfect but I think it'll be fine that side's a little better that rocks easier to deal with than what this was but like i said this is going to serve the purpose and it'll be fine like i said once that water gets up where it covers the rock it's going to be it'll be fine um just not quite as pretty as the nice pretty white rock until we get a good rain on it so but anyway guys i'm going to get out of here don't forget to like and subscribe leave comments ring this notification bell uh, that way you know when I post new videos follow me on Instagram dirt daddy 953 there'll be videos on there as well I've got a big pond clean out project coming uh, some fit rows uh, quite a little bit lined up so anyway guys I'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here before it gets dark on me so uh, we'll, we're gonna uh, stick a knife in this one or a fork it's done and uh, we'll move on to the next one so anyway guys we'll catch you later appreciate you as always